when you're married to someone who have this problem, okay, disrespecting, and I will associate with this is basically a controlling behavior. Somebody so controlling, unbelievable level of control. He can justify, she can justify that with jealousy, whatever they want. I care for you. I love you. That's not, that's not love. That's not jealous. That's called controlling freak. He or she, you know, and that basically lead to what? To abuse and bully. And if you, if you fall into the grip of someone like that, it's very hard to get out. I'm, I'm like, I know a sister married a guy for about eight years. Okay. This is a real story. She said, Sheikh, I have red tapes in my apartment. I said, what do you mean? I thought she talking about red tapes like uh, um, intangible, like kind of red tapes, like, you know, rules. He's, she said, no, 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 an actual red tape. I said, what do you mean? She said, you see the window? There is like four feet away from the window or three feet away. He have a red tape. I'm not allowed to cross that tape. I'm not allowed to come closer to the window or to the patio. Red tape. Almost he is the one who allowed me to cross. A what? They didn't. She said, I saw all these signs. I saw how controlling he is. But I never thought it would reach that level. And I was the one who divorced her from him. And he was so angry at me. He actually threatened my life. Yeah. So it is really scary. Had nothing to do with religion. Controlling this is a character trait. And that's why it is so beautiful how the Prophet ﷺ said, مَن تَرْضَوْنَ دِينَهُ وَخُلُقَهُ He did not say you only please with his deen, but also خُلُق, manner, character trait. Because you might be a religious person, but you're a monster. You might be a good Muslim, but you're stingy. You might be a good person who pray and do a lot of good things, but you know what? You are a terrible communicator. You know, so there's so many other things besides the religion. That, that's why the person put these two together. The character trait of the person. You have to look at it. You know, I know also another uh, uh, sister just the controlling behavior issue. Yeah. Uh, for example, not allowed to have phone, not allowed to have... There's a, a brother. Uh, and these examples, not from people like... People like born in, in the West. This guy born, raised in, in, in England, you know, and uh, lived in America. His wife not allowed to eat with him. She wait until he finishes his food. I don't know about people in modern day. I said, and, and what I, I asked myself, what would make person live like that? She said, Sheikh, and he admitted in front of me. He said, yes. When I sit on the couch, she sit on the floor. Yes. And I said to him, why? He said, to show respect. When he married her, she was arrogant. I want to break her spirit. You know what the question that, I don't, I don't want to scare you, but I want to tell you that this is serious. I'm tired of dealing with cases like this. And these are not random cases. These are, yes, it's not like I get cases like this every day. But they are large in number enough to tell you that this is a problem that does exist. And it can manifest itself in many different ways. Maybe I give you the most extreme stories I, I saw. But it is, I ask myself, what would lead a sister or a brother to be in a situation like this? A brother was suffering with a, 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 his wife controlling behavior. She controls it so much. Where are you going? Who are you? Where are you? 
You know, I need to know where it's your de uh, destination. You know what? I need to see a location in your phone. Why are you talking to this person? You know, a camera everywhere. That's not, that's not love. That's a controlling problem you have. This, and the problem, I ask all these people. They said, we saw this sign before marriage. He said, Chef, we you know what is my breaking point one time? I was in the Walmart. And he said, the girl, the cashier, she said, okay, this is your chain. And I reached my hand. She was next to me. And she just gave me the, the money. Oh, my God. She came and she slapped her hand on my hand. And the coins and the money were all over the place. Now, come and kiss him to take his number. She said, excuse me? Yeah, I know all this kind of all this looks. And, and you, why would you flirt with it? I said, I'm not. I'm taking the money. Flirt or what? Next time you don't ever talk to a girl. You... Yes, ma'am. But he said, I went home, Chef. And you called me. And he said, Chef, I'm done. I can't live like that. But it took him two years to be done. It took him two years to... I guess he's well done <laughs> by that time. It's not done. You know? I'm at La, but inside, you know, there is a say in Arabic, the worst of matters is what makes you laugh. Not laugh because it's a laughable matter. It's because it's so sad. Sometimes when things are so painful, you just smile. 